Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, we adore you, we exalt you, our Father. We worship you. Besides you, there is none. We thank you for the miracle of life, Lord. We thank you for another new day that you've given to us. Thank you for protecting us over the night and uh, giving us an opportunity to see yet another day. We don't take it for granted, Lord, that it has pleased you to have yet another new day. So even as we begin this day, Lord, we ask that you will continue to be with us, continue to guide us in every aspect. Even as we set a time, uh, time in the morning to look up to you with a devotional thought and, and just to commit our day into your hands. Father, we ask that you will be glorified in everything that we do for in Jesus name we pray and believe amen and amen a very good morning to you thank you for waking up early in the morning so that we can have a time of reflection a time of devotion a time of committing the day into the hands of God and also committing the whole week into God's hand. We are very grateful. This is another new week that God has given us and a new day that he has allowed us to see. And it's such a joy, it's such an honor, and it's such a privilege for us. We look at it as a miracle from God and we don't take it for granted. And even as we uh, begin our day, I pray that the Lord will encourage us even as we allow him to take the center stage of our life. Our anchor scripture this morning, our anchor scripture this morning will be Romans chapter number 12, Romans 12, and we shall be looking at verse number 11, verse number 11. The Bible records in English Standard Version, do not be slothful in zeal. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. And uh, the, the new international version would, would say, never be lacking in zeal. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor. Keep your spiritual fervor as we serve the Lord. And even as we begin a new day, the Lord is encouraging me and you that we should never lack in zeal. We should be zealous in serving the Lord. And I pray that God will help us that this new day that he has given us, that we will keep our spiritual fervor strong and in the things that we do. So I pray that God will help us um, to be 
encouraged this day that serving the Lord is not something that we should do grudgingly, but we should be excited. We should be thankful that God has given me and you an opportunity to yet see another day. And as we share his love with the people, as we, we serve people, as we do what he has called us to do in the marketplace, at home, in school, wherever we are doing in this stage of life, God is encouraging me and you because we are his high eyes, we are his feet, and we are the witness. We are the only Bible that some people will ever read. So as we go through life, I pray that God will encourage us to be such a powerful tool in his hand as we serve his people. And we cannot serve when we are not, when we are not zealous. We cannot serve him when, when, when we are not strong enough. So the Bible is, apostle is encouraging us that we should be zealous, you know, we should be passionate, we should be excited, we should be strong, we should be uh, oozing with strength, oozing with, 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 with joy because the Lord is uh, with us. So I want us to take time uh, today uh, is, is a reflection and actually is an inside reflection that as we go out, as we serve the Lord, we need to do it with zeal. We need to be enthusiastic. In, 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 we need to be zealous we need to be strong. We need to be happy serving God in what God has asked us to do. So I want us to take time first to thank God for the week that God has given us a new day that God has given us and an opportunity to represent him both at home in the marketplace, wherever we will be, that God will use us to be great ambassadors of him. Our Father and our God, what an opportunity for you've given to us, Lord, yet another new day, another new week. And Father, as we begin this day, we commit it into your mighty hands. And how I pray, Lord, that you will help us as you have encouraged us in your word, that you should never lack in zeal uh, as, as, as we serve you, as we serve God's people. I pray that this day, Lord, that you will help us to be zealous, you will help us to be strong, you will help us to be passionate with the things of the kingdom, that even as we move, Oh God, that in our homes you will take the center stage of everything that we do. In our businesses, Lord, those who are in business, in our working places or oh, in the marketplace, where, Lord, you have positioned us, how I pray that you will use us to be your great ambassadors, to be your eyes, to be your feet, Lord, that many will see us and see you in, 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 in their life. So, I, Father, I pray that you will extend our horizon this day as a people, as a congregation, Congregation, Father, I pray for each and every one of us that you will use us in this space to bring glory and to bring honor to you. Father, I pray where there has been lack of zeal in the things of God, Father, I pray that you will revive us again. You will revive us again that when we talk about the things of God, when we talk about you and what you continue to do in our life, may it bring life, may it bring strength, may it bring joy, may it bring uh, that ability that we just want to share with others because of what you you are doing in our life. Father, I pray if there is any one of us who is going through a dry time and, and they, they've lacked zeal in the things of God, oh Father, how I pray that you'll breathe in us the fire, you'll breathe in us the strength, you'll breathe in us the passion and the desire to continue to look up to you in moments like this. We thank you, our King. Oh Father, I pray against slothfulness, oh God. I pray against that lack of zeal, oh God. I pray against against the busyness of life that would want to keep us from serving you, oh God, from serving the people around us, from serving our people, from serving our family, from serving our employer, from serving our nation, from serving our company, from serving whatever station, Lord, you have given us. Father, I pray that this week you will use us again to be your examples, to be, to, to be your ambassadors, Lord, that through what you're doing in our life may many be drawn closer to you because of what you're doing in our life. We thank you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so very much for tuning in this morning, a time of prayer, a time of devotion. We come together individually, but also collectively as a congregation to commit the day in the hands of God, to commit the week in the hands of God. And I'm glad that you found it fit to be part and parcel of doing that. 
And I pray that even as we go throughout the week that we will never be lacking in zeal, but we will keep our spiritual fervor serving the King of kings and the Lord of lords. God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. And now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's favor be upon you as you go out and in your coming back in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See. Lord